Brandon, a big step in the fight against climate change. More than 100 heads of state making a global pledge to, spla to slash methane emissions at the crucial UN climate summit in Scotland. President Biden detailing how the U.S. will make changes to protect the planet during this so-called decisive decade. ABC's Rena Roy explains from Glasgow. Smaller struggling nations are begging world leaders to make real change fast with the earth changing before their eyes. You might as well bomb our islands instead of making us suffer only to witness our slow and fateful demise. We are drowning and our only hope is the life ring you are holding. And some world leaders are hearing those pleas. For the first time, more than 100 countries committing to reduce methane emissions. Experts say the greenhouse gas is a big cause of global warming. We're committing to collectively reduce our methane by 30 percent by 2030. President Biden laying out his strategy to help achieve that, announcing the strictest methane standards ever, a new rule allowing the EPA to crack down on the oil and gas industry, a producer of methane. It's going to improve health, reduce asthma, respiratory related emergencies it's going to improve the food supply as well. The White House also proposing rules for gas pipeline safety and a plan to protect forests. Biden pushing for clean energy technology innovation. Today I spoke with leaders of forested nations, island nations, developing countries. My message to them was the United States is going to be their partner as we meet this climate crisis. Now, that historic methane pledge announced on Tuesday is a voluntary commitment among those countries that signed on to it. It does not require any formal proceedings like the ongoing negotiations following the Paris Climate Accord. Rena Roy, ABC News, Glasgow, Scotland.